Greetings Metal community, it's uh, Roger back, uh, this time with something different, uh, will be kind of a, yeah, into the crypt or wood spinning, I don't know what I will call it, you will uh, have seen that in the description. Second time I record this video because first time I got blocked because I was playing this in the background, it has happened before, I love this album but um, I don't know. It's originally out on Nuclear Blast, so maybe Nuclear Blast has something to do with it. I don't know. But this has also been played in uh, this weekend. But um, probably can't show it either. I'll probably get blocked once more time. One more time, but uh, yeah, that's happening. I guess I don't know what or why or the reason. But uh, Twin Obscenity, uh, we're light touches none. Norwegian. Uh, black metal or black death there's a lot of cool death metal in there as well in the riffs um, this original came out in 96 uh, I think yeah 96 great uh, opening riff on this album I just love that song <clears throat> kind of a riff that kills the rest of the song in a way because it's so good but overall, a great album. Um, originally, had not found release. So if you haven't heard this before, go and check it out because uh, yeah, the opening track is worth the album all by itself. So we'll turn it down a little bit more, but yeah, great stuff. Uh, yeah, as I said, this will be kind of a series I've, I've been planning to do for a long time, but. You know, go into the collection and pull out random stuff that I, uh, yeah, just uh, kind of uh, shopping in my own collection and see what's uh, there. You know, something that I haven't listened to for a long time. One of the bands that I pulled out uh, was uh, the uh, Netherlands or uh, Dutch Creep Mime. Uh, this is the first release, Shadows from 1993. Out on pavement. Music, it's licensed from uh, Mascot Records, so I don't know if this is a US press or whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, solid uh, death metal from the Netherlands, um, kind of a little mid paced, uh, little bit kind of flat uh, in overall. There's, I would have wanted some more um, kind of some blast or something to break it up, but overall, it's, it's a good album, and um, yeah. Pretty cool cover as well. Uh, then the second album by them uh, is uh, Shirascro or whatever. Sounds almost Japanese. Uh, change your vocalist, uh, vocalist, guitarist. Um, this is way more progressive and technical. It's, it's kind of more towards uh, Pestlands. Uh, at that point, you know, um, towards the stairs. The vocals uh, sounds a little bit like Mamelli as well. So, uh, so if you like Pestlands uh, in that area, you know, between um, Testimony and Stairs, uh, this could be a good one for you to check out. Um, yeah, out on Mascot Records or Productions. There's the CD. Yeah, really good album. This uh, I played this several times, so uh, good, good stuff. Then I played the yeah, kind of the only Dark Tranquility album I really do revisit. Skydancer, their first from '93. This is a great album. Kind of more, um, in a way, more brutal tech or uh, and uh, chaotic than they turned out to be, you know, uh, this is kind of more towards early at the gates than they are in flames in a way on this album and uh, I really had wanted them to continue this path because uh, they had some some really good songs on this album. This is out on Spine Farm or um, I don't know if you can see it but it says uh, Spin Farm in uh, the middle so uh, yeah. Great album by Dark Tranquility, in my opinion, this is kind of the only one you need. Um, but I know there's a lot of people who love their later stuff as well, and that's totally fine. It's just that Gothenburg or uh, Göteborg sound, uh, it's not for me. 
Then I pulled out um, Destructor from Australia. I think this is um, yeah, the album is called Nailed. I don't know if yeah, there it will pop out. It's kind of an embossed um, out on Hell's Headbangers. Uh, this is black and death metal, uh, more death metal than black metal, but a uh, great album. Um, some thrash elements here as well, especially the last song has a really kind of main riff, it's, it's more a thrashy riff. So yeah, pretty good stuff from um, Australia. I think this was 2008 or 9. this came out, and there is a second album. Um, uh, it's uh, Opprobrium from uh, 2015. This is kind of more... Uh, black and thrash death metal I would say uh, the vocals are a little bit more uh, you know blackened than the uh, first album uh, do like the first album better than this but uh, this is still a, a good album a good listen then I went into uh, yeah the last four CDs here are kind of connected um, I can start with the most known stuff uh, you know, Dusk, Dusk from um, US, 1994, out on um, Cyber Music. My casing is case is broken, so I need to replace that. But um, yeah, this is a fantastic uh, death doom or heavy, thick and meaty um, death metal release. Deep vocals have some uh, massive, like deep synths as well to just uh, create this uh, yeah very thick sound and uh, juicy sound and uh, one of the best uh, death doom uh, albums there is in my opinion I call this a death doom album because it's so fucking slow then we have the uh, compilation morning resurrect with Dusk, this contains the Dusk EP and the uh, uh, Majestic Thou Ruined EP from 95 and also a song that was on a compilation called The Visionaries of the Macabre Volume 1 from 98. Yeah, great compilation, the uh, In Majestic uh, stuff uh, is uh, a little bit lighter than the uh, first EP. Uh, uh, some clean vocals uh, have entered and um, and some more uh, kind of melodic synth, not that massive synth that we've seen uh, in the first, but uh, still a great uh, EP as well. So um, this is a killer collection out on Lost Disciple. And then I'm kind of backtracking because uh, after dusk they started up Pothic or backtracking, I'm pushing forward. Backtracking in reverse, yeah. Uh, this is a split with Aphotic uh, to find New Darkness and Dusk the Slumber. I don't think that uh, Dusk the Slumber was released on anything else, but uh, it's kind of just a progression of the other uh, the, um, the other EPs. Um, a bit softer and uh, more melodic in a way. Aphotic is um, more kind of a, a Black and Death Doom. Uh, project. Uh, I do also have the first release by them, um, Stillness Gross, and uh, it's, this has a apotic, uh, uh, I don't know if it's a demo, but the last four tracks here is. So uh, yeah, this is, as I said, uh, it's kind of black and death doom, it's death doom with uh, synths and, uh, and more black vocals. Um, so it, they are kind of tied together with, with Dusk, but, but you know, Dusk was a heavy, juicy death metal project. This is kind of a heavy, uh, not very juicy, but a, a heavy black metal release, uh, slow. Um, uh, it's good, but it's kind of a little bit too long. It, it kind of get a little bit tiresome in, in the end, but uh, overall, uh, cool to have in the collection regardless. So I do have all the Dusk stuff on on um, on disc yeah 
As I said, I filmed this uh, earlier, earlier on and uh, it got blocked, so hopefully this will go out to you guys. I uh, hope you enjoy this stuff and um, I will do more of this, uh, kind of go into my collection and um, yeah, pull out random stuff and show it to you. I'm not going to do, you know, way to out the end because I do have way too much shit so that would be um, 20 years of YouTubing and I don't think I will do that. So. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and always uh, for the comments and uh, the new subscribers and the old subscribers. Thanks all and uh, be short.